everyone, my name is Crayon and here's another Time Princess walkthrough. This one is for Golden Age. If you want to jump to unlocking a particular stage, just check on the timestamps in the description below. Alright, so this book has three companions and to finish, we need Marie the Medici upgraded to level 5. Then we need Madame Joffrin and Felix Bailey upgraded to level 7. Felix is the 5 star relic holder in this group and his relic has brand and cooling tags and court dance scene. This book has 16 blueprints available for purchase in Parvin's shop. They cost 3510 diamonds in total. If you want to finish this book 100% and get its profile reward, then you definitely have to purchase all these blueprints and craft them. We have 84 event logs in total here, most of them just unlocks automatically so I won't be covering those but 6 of them needs you to pick a certain choice to unlock and here's how you unlock them. There's a few steps in unlocking Bosch event logs so I'll just leave a timestamp for unlocking it in the description. But guys, before we move on to our walkthrough, please consider tapping on the like and subscribe button for more Time Princess content. Alright, now let's go back in time to the Golden Age. This book started pretty easy. Stage 1-1 only has one set of choices that has no effect on future stages. Now for the dress up, we needed items with simple and warm tags. The blueprint reward for getting a perfect clear here will be needed to craft the required items in stages 1-8 and 114. For the relic, I'm using Cortland Rusk level 1. Stage 1-2 is a no dress up stage. It also just have one set of choices. They don't affect future stages but choosing talk about emotional response will increase Felix Bailey's goodwill. Clearing this stage will also unlock our first album art, Heaven Rejoices. Stage 1-3 is another easy stage. It has just one set of choices that does not affect future stages. For the dress up, I have crafted the items from the stage hint and then used some items from other books, mostly from Queen Marie. If you don't have the items I'm using here, that's okay, you can use anything in your wardrobe. Just don't leave too many blank fields, especially if you don't have a strong fashion lab yet. For the relic, I'm using Apollo level 20. Stage 1-4 is a no dress up stage. It has two sets of choices and two stage events to unlock. The first set of choices does not affect any stages but the second set of choices is where we get our two stage events. For the first stage event, let's unlock stage 1-5. So just play 1-4 and select stay in my cell from its second set of choices. To get the second stage event, let's obtain the ending Night of Nightmares. So just play stage 1-4 and this time select take the keys from the guard from its second set of choices. Stage 1-5 is another easy stage. It has just one set of choices and they don't affect future stages. But choosing Ask Marie will increase Marie the Medici's goodwill. For the dress up, we need items with warm and gentle tags, but I don't have many of those yet. So I'm using a dress from Spring Sonata, but you can always use anything in your wardrobe that has at least one tag matching the requirement. And don't forget to upgrade your fashion lab. And for the relic, I'm using Davis level 36. Stage 1-6 requires Felix Bailey's goodwill raised to level 2. Again, this is an easy stage with only one set of choices that does not affect future stages. 
Now these are the items I wore to get a perfect score in the dress up. For the relic, I'm using Apollo level 20. Stage 1-7 requires Marie de Medici's Goodwill race to level 2. These stages two sets of choices and two stage events to unlock. The first set of choices will affect future stages, but right now I'm just gonna choose yes. The second set of choices is where we get all two of our stage events. So to get our first stage event, let's play 1-7 and select Defend Leopold from its second set of choices. To get the second stage event, just play 1-7 and this time select Stay Silent from its second set of choices. For the dress up, most of the items I'm using are from Showdown in Glitter Rise, but it's still okay if you don't have these items, just use whatever you have in your wardrobe that has a matching tag with the stage requirement. Remember that upgrading your fashion lab is very important in this game, so don't forget to do that. For the relic, I'm using Caesar level 45. Stage 1-8 requires for us to craft the Passage of Time dress. You will get its blueprint after getting a perfect clear in Stage 1-1. This is again another easy stage with just one set of choices that does not affect future stages. Now for the dress up, we need a perfect clear in this stage because its blueprint reward is needed to craft the required item in Stage 1-9 and 2-10. So I just crafted every item from the stage hint and throw in some other items from different books. A strong fashion lab is so important during dress ups so make sure to upgrade it whenever you have the materials. For the relic, I am using Apollo level 20. Stage 1-9 requires for us to craft the Goss Rose Top. You will get its blueprint after getting a perfect clear in Stage 1-8. We have two stage events to unlock here and to get the first one, let's unlock Stage 1-10. So just play 1-9 and select Yes, let's investigate the assassination. For the second stage event, let's unlock Stage 1-11. And to do this, just play 1-9 and this time select No, we should talk to Monsieur Rubens. Now these are the items I used to get a perfect score in this dress up. If you had difficulty getting a perfect clear, just upgrade your fashion lab. The higher its level, the bigger the points it contributes to the dress up. For the relic, I'm using Caesar level 45. Stage 110 requires Marie de Medici's Goodwill race to level 3. This stage has only one set of choices. They don't affect future stages, but this stage has an event log that will only unlock if you choose change the subject. Clearing this stage will also unlock the album art, Flash of Light. Now for the dress up, we have to get a perfect clear here because its blueprint reward is needed to craft the required item in stage 114. So here's the list of items I used to get that perfect clear. It's okay if you don't have these items, just use whatever is in your wardrobe and then upgrade your fashion lab. For the relic, I'm using Davis level 36. Stage 111 requires Felix Bailey's Goodwill race to level 3. We have two stage events to unlock here and to get the first one, just play 111 and select yes from its choices. To get the second stage event, again just play 111 and this time select no. Now these are the items I used to get a perfect score in the dress up. We have to get a perfect here because its blueprint reward is needed to craft the required item in stage 115. If you didn't get a perfect here, then you need to upgrade your fashion lab. It's very important for dress up stages to have a strong fashion lab. 
For the relic, I'm using Davis, level 36. Stage 112 requires Marie de Medici's goodwill raised to level 4. These stages only one set of choices and they are just for interest so they don't affect future stages. For the dress up, I have now crafted most of the items from the Passage of Time set. So I'm using them here for my dress up. If you didn't reach perfect score, upgrade your fashion lab and try to use 5 star relics. For this stage, I'm using Apollo's relic at level 20. Stage 113 requires Felix Bailey's goodwill raised to level 4. This is a no dress up stage but we have 3 stage events to unlock here and 4 pots to unlock in the flowchart. For our first stage event, let's unlock 114 from Ruben's Leeds the Peace Talks Path. So just play stage 19 and select no, we should talk to Monsieur Rubens. Then let's play stage 111 to lock the flowchart in place. And lastly, play stage 113 and select hold back and observe. Okay, so to get our second stage event, let's unlock stage 114 from show the horrors of war path. So first, let's go back to stage 1-9 and select Yes, let's investigate the assassination. Then, let's play stage 1-10 to lock the flowchart in place. And then, play stage 1-13 and select Hold Back and Observe. When you are in this path, you will also unlock the album art, Heated Debate. To get our third stage event, let's obtain the ending Away From Home. So first, let's play stage 1-7 and select Yes. And then let's play stage 1-13 and select Condemn the Duke of Ipernon. These steps will also unlock Expelled from Paris when the Bribery is Exposed path in the flowchart. Now, notice that we still have an extra path we need to unlock here. So to unlock Ipernon gets Evicted from Paris path, let's go to stage 1-7. Okay, now we're in 1-7 and then let's select No. Then play stage 113 and select Condemn the Duke of Ipernon. So following this path will also lead to unlocking 114 and the album art Heated Debate. Stage 114 requires for us to craft the sugared cake dress. You will get its blueprint after getting a perfect clear in stage 110. We have 6 stage events to unlock here, so for our first 3 stage event, let's play all options from 114 while in Show the Horrors of War Path. Okay, so to get the first stage event, let's play 19 and select Yes, let's investigate the assassination. Next, let's play 110 to have the flowchart click in place. And then let's play stage 113 and select Hold Back and Observe. And lastly, let's play stage 114 and select Stop Bidding. Alright, so for our second stage event, let's stay on the show the horrors of war path. I'm still in this path, so I'm gonna skip the first three steps and I'm gonna proceed to playing stage 114. 
This time, let's select continue to bid against him from its first set of choices. This option will unlock a second set of choices and from there, select raise the bid by 500. The third stage event is still on the show The Horrors of War path. Again, I'm still in this path, so I'm gonna skip the first three steps and proceed on playing stage 114. Again, select continue to bid against him from its first set of choices. And then select raise the bid by 1000 from its second set of choices. Okay, now for our fourth stage event, we have to switch to Rubens leads the peace talks path. So to do this, first let's play 1-9 and select no, we should talk to Monsieur Rubens. Then let's play stage 111 to lock the flowchart in place. And then let's play stage 113 and select hold back and observe. Next, let's play stage 114 and select stop bidding. When you are in Rubens leads the peace talks path, you will unlock the event log bash. Now for our fifth stage event, let's stay on Rubens leads the peace talks path. I'm still on this path, so I'm skipping the first three steps and I'm gonna go and play stage 114. And this time, let's select continue to bid against him from its first set of choices. Then select raise the bid by 500 from its second set of choices. The sixth and final stage event is still in Rubens leads the peace talks path. Again, I'm still in this path, so I don't have to repeat the first three steps and I'm gonna skip to playing stage 114 and select continue bidding against him from its first set of choices and then select raise the bid by 1000 from its second set of choices. Now these are the items I used to get a perfect score in this dress up. For the relic, I'm using Davis level 36. Stage 115 requires for us to craft the Radiant Dance hat. You will get its blueprint after getting a perfect score in stage 111. This stage has only one set of choices. They don't affect future stages, but choosing yes will unlock a hidden event log. For the dress up, I just crafted every item from the stage hint and threw in some other items from different books. If possible, don't leave any blank dress up fields and also don't forget to upgrade your fashion lab so it's easier for you to get perfect clears next time. For the relic, I'm using Caesar level 45. Stage 116 is a no dress up stage. It requires Marie de Medici's goodwill raised to level 5. Again, this stage has just one set of choices that does not affect future stages or increase any companion goodwill. So let's just enjoy the story to clear this level. To unlock stage 2 1, we must meet some conditions. First, we must get at least 10 perfect clears in chapter 1. Then we must have at least 10 golden age items in our wardrobe. And lastly, we have to clear stage 116. This stage has only one set of choices that does not affect future stages or increase companion goodwills. So we can focus on winning the dress up here. Now these are the items I used to get that perfect score. For the relic, I am using Cortland Rusk level 1. Clearing the stage will also unlock the album art Riverside Gallery.
stage 2-2 requires Felix Bailey's goodwill raised to level 5. We have two sets of choices in this stage and both the first and second set of choices are just for interest so whatever you choose here won't affect the future stages. They also won't increase any companion goodwill. So the challenge here is in getting a perfect clear in the dress up because we need its blueprint reward to craft the required item in stage 2-3 later. So here's the list of items that I used to get that perfect clear. And for the relic, I'm using Felix Bailey level 1. Stage 2-3 requires for us to craft the Nightingale's Chorus Dress. You will get its blueprint by getting a perfect score in stage 2-2. This stage has just one set of choices that does not affect future stages or increase companion goodwills. Now these are the items I used to get a perfect score in this stage dress up. For the relic, I am using the Phantom level 1. Stage 2-4 is a no dress up stage and it has only one set of choices that does not affect future stages. They also don't increase companion goodwills. So let's just enjoy the story here to clear this level. Stage 2-5 requires Madame Joffrin's goodwill raised to level 3. This is a no dress up stage with just one set of choices that does not affect future stages or increase companion goodwills. So again, let's just enjoy the story to clear this level. Stage 2-6 has just one set of choices. I would recommend choosing his name because this option will unlock a hidden event log, Voltaire. Aside from that, we also have to select this option to unlock a path in the flowchart later. Now here's the list of items I used to get a perfect clear in this dress up stage. For the relic, I'm using Felix Bailey level 1. Stage 2-7 requires Madame Joffrin's goodwill raised to level 5. This stage has two sets of choices. The first set does not affect future stages or increase companion goodwill. The second set also does not affect future stages, but I would suggest choosing from the novel's perspective because this option will unlock a hidden event log. Now these are the items I used to get a perfect clear in this stage dress up. For the relic, I am using Caesar level 45. Stage 2-8 requires Felix Bailey's goodwill raised to level 6. This stage has just one set of choices, but each of the options here greatly affects future stages. For now, I'm just gonna select interesting entries on artisans. Now here's the items I used to get a perfect clear in this stage dress up. For the relic, I'm using Phantom level 1.
stage 2-9 requires for us to craft the fancy elegance handheld you can purchase its blueprint from Parvin's shop for 275 diamonds we have two stage events to unlock here and to get the first one let's unlock stage 2-10 to do this, first we have to play 2-8 and select interesting entries on artisans. Then let's play stage 2-9. Following these steps, we'll also unlock the album art as Salon. To get our second stage event, let's obtain the ending a failed Salon. So first, let's play stage 2-8 and select the value of Encyclopedia. Then, let's play stage 2-9. Now, here's the list of items I used to get a perfect score in this dress-up. For the relic, I'm using Felix Bailey, level 1. Stage 210 requires the Moon Rose Hat. You can get its blueprint from Parvin Shop for 275 diamonds. We have two stage events to unlock here, and to get the first one, let's unlock stage 211. So just play stage 210 and select Go on the Offense. To get the second stage event, let's obtain the ending Expelled from the Palace. So just play stage 210 again and this time select defend yourself. Now here's the list of items I used to get a perfect score in this stage dress up. For the relic, I'm using the phantom level 1. Stage 211 requires Madame Joffrin's goodwill raised to level 6. This stage has just one set of choices, and although they don't affect future stages, choosing how would the encyclopedia affect history is essential to unlock a path in the flowchart later. Now these are the items I used to get a perfect score in the dress up. And for the relic, I'm using Caesar level 45. Stage 212 requires Felix Bailey's goodwill raised to level 7. We have two sets of choices and two stage events to unlock here. The first set of choices does not really affect your choices in the future stages, but choosing professed admiration is necessary to unlock a path in the flowchart later. The second set of choices is where we get our two stage events. To get the first one, let's unlock stage 213. To do this, just play stage 212 and select Confront the Officers from its second set of choices. To get the second stage event, let's obtain the ending caught red-handed. So just play stage 212 again and select Sneak out the back from its second set of choices. Stage 213 requires Madame Joffrin's goodwill raised to level 7. This stage has two stage events to unlock, and to get the first one, let's obtain the ending Fruitless Persuasion. So just play stage 213 and select Advocate for Monsieur Diderot. Choosing this option will also unlock the event log, The Death of Socrates. To get our second stage event, Let's unlock stage 214. To do this, just play 213 and select show him the pamphlets. 
This option will open a second set of choices, but they don't affect future stages, so don't worry about this. This option will also unlock the album art, Successful Publish. Now, if you check on the flowchart, there's still one path here that needs to be unlocked. So, to unlock Recognize Candide path, we need to go back to stage 2-6 and select his name. Then, play stage 2-10 and select Go on the Offense. Next, play stage 2-11 and select How would the Encyclopedia affect history? Then, play stage 2-12 and select Profess Admiration from its first set of choices. Then, select Confront the Officers from its second set of choices. Lastly, play stage 2-13 and select Show him the pamphlets. Now, let's go back to the flowchart and you can see Recognize Candid Path is now unlocked. To unlock the other path, fail to recognize Candid, just have at least one different choice from any of these stages and you will unlock it. Now for the dress up, these are the items I used to get that perfect score. For the relic, I'm using Felix Bailey level 1. Stage 214 requires for us to craft the Code of Romance ring. Its blueprint can be purchased from Parvin Shop for 205 diamonds. This stage has only one set of choices and they're just for interest, so whatever you choose here will lead to the same ending, hopeful for the future. For the dress up, these are the items I used to get a perfect clear. And for the relic, I'm using Cortland Rusk level 1. So there you go lovelies, we have now unlocked all levels and stage events from Golden Age. If you want to get 100% completion, just craft all the remaining items from this book, including the ones from Parvin's shop. We have 16 blueprint items in Parvin's and they cost 3,510 diamonds in total. And that wraps it up lovelies. If you find this video helpful, please consider tapping on the like and subscribe button to get other Time Princess walkthroughs. Have a nice day ahead and happy gaming!